Hi friends, welcome back and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I'll put my usual video on the screen showing you how to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell so that you're notified of my almost daily uploads. If you are new around here, I upload about four to five times a week on this channel. I have two other channels also. I have a vlog channel where we recently hit a thousand subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you that subscribed. I always say if you wanna see the new mom content, the travel stuff, the baby stuff, uh, that's where it will go. So check out the vlogs. I've been uploading a couple times a week there. And yeah, lots of vlogs coming at your way. Um, I also have a beauty channel. I always make the joke, hence the reason I usually have a lot of makeup on in these videos, because I film multiple videos at once. If you are new around here, I have been reselling on ThreadUp for two years, um, also for two years on Poshmark, Amazon, and I've been reselling on eBay for 10 years, and ThreadUp has quickly fallen <laughs> from one of my favorite platforms to sell on to probably one of my least favorites, maybe even under Poshmark. And you guys know, Poshmark has not been my favorite ever. Um, but I don't know, I think I'd put thread up below Poshmark at this point. If you don't know why, I will link the video where I talk about the new thread up selling changes. So I actually have a huge box here of things that I reclaimed before they did all these huge changes, but usually what I would do is inventory this stuff and send it right back to ThreadUp. But because of their seller changes, again, if you don't know what's going on, they changed a lot of things in November. I'll link that video down below, go check it out. I'm either gonna sell this stuff myself or um, donate it back to Goodwill. So I thought we could just go through it. I thought that I should keep doing these ThreadUp reclaim videos just because I think if you're going to continue to sell on ThreadUp, I'm filming this in November. Based on the changes they've made in November, I think you really need to know what sells there and what sells quickly so that you don't have to reclaim things and maybe pay that $5.99 fee if you list above 50% of what they recommend. It's so convoluted. But I just think it's important that if you're going to sell on ThreadUp in 2020, 2021, you need to know what you can buy low and sell quickly or if you're gonna pay up for things, you need to know that that item's gonna sell the first time you send it to them, or it needs to be worth it for you to be able to pay that $5.99 fee. And that just differentiates for everybody. You know what I mean? So you just, you really have to be strategic if you're gonna keep selling on ThreadUp at this point. You need to know price points, you need to know what they're gonna sell at, you need to know brands and how quickly they sell. So these brands didn't sell within the 60 or 90 day window. So I think, I think these videos are still helpful. Let me know in the comments down below. Maybe um, it can show you like brands that you might have to send in once, twice, three times, and if it's worth it to keep picking them up, you know? But there's variations for everything. Something that maybe didn't sell for me might sell quickly for you, but after selling there for two years and selling pretty consistently, I, before this whole seller change happened in November, I was sending about five to 10 boxes a week to thread up. And I've done plenty of videos on brands that sell from $25 to $200. So if you wanna learn brands that sell for a good amount and sell fast, I'll leave my thread up playlist video down below. Okay, can I get this box open? Remember friends, I'm nine months pregnant here, so everything feels like a huge chore at this point. Why is the lighting messed up? I literally have no business being, this looks like a shirt, it's actually a dress, and you're supposed to have your boobs out here, or I don't know, maybe you're not, maybe you can have your bra showing, but nobody's going braless around these parts, friends. When you're nine months pregnant and your breasts are the size of a small dog, you need the <laughs> A small dog? I'm not sure why I used that analogy, but whatever. All right, <laughs> I'm a mess. Let's jump in here. First up, we have Charter Club Women. I love sending Charter Club to thread up. Um, it doesn't sell quickly, but when it does sell, it sells for a good amount. I think this was priced at like 60 bucks, and this is a size 0X. I'm just gonna sell this myself. I actually sell quite a bit of Charter, Charter Club on eBay, so I'm gonna sell that myself. I don't feel like sending it to them, and if it doesn't sell, because like I said, it's not one of those brands that sells quickly. So sometimes I'll have to send it in two or three times and I'm not willing to pay the $5.99 fee. Although I could send it back and not price it at 80% of retail and see what happens. But 
I've got to play around with it. I'm going to, I'll keep you posted on what my new business strategy is, but I'm just going to sell a lot of this myself. This is um G and it's this, I want to call it flannel. Is it flannel? It's kind of wild looking with the fringe and the flannel, um, pattern, but I think it's cute. What size is this? Size medium. I'm going to sell this myself. If you're interested in any of this stuff, it should be on my Poshmark. Um, by the time you're seeing this video. This one is T Tahari. What's the size? Size small, petite, really cute, knit, little beige sweater. This is really cute. Tahari actually sells um, for a good amount on ThreadUp, but it doesn't sell very quickly. Sometimes I would have to send this twice, three times before it would sell. sell. Um... I think I'm gonna sell that myself just to get that moving. Liz Ware, I cannot sell myself to save my life on eBay or Poshmark. This might be one of the items. I'm doing some testing where I just send them boxes, no return assurance, no expedited shipping, and just kind of see what happens and leave the pricing at what they set it at. I'd probably only make like two or three bucks on this because Liz Ware doesn't sell for that much on ThreadUp, but I only paid a dollar for this, so this might be one of the few things I actually send back to them. This is Peck and Peck Collection, size four. I picked this up for style. It's a size four jacket. Look at how cute that style is, and it has shoulder pads, which are in, um, and I just think this is really cute. I'm gonna sell this myself. 99% of this, you guys, I'm selling myself. This is Collections for Le Suit, size 10P. I actually do very well selling this brand on ThreadUp, but again, this is another brand. Remember, these are reclaimed, so these didn't sell within the 60 or 90 day window. Whenever I send Le Suit to them, it actually, they give me a 90 day window. Uh, window, I feel like I said that word, window, but it didn't sell. Um, I would usually have to send this twice, three, sometimes even four times before it would sell this brand but it did price pretty well and it would sell eventually, but I'm gonna sell this myself. Lots of new inventory for me to sell myself. This jacket, you guys, has been around the world and they broke the zipper. Oh God, oh no. When I sent them this, it was not, the zipper was fine. Okay, the zipper's fine. I found this on Dollar Day at Goodwill a year ago. This has been sent to thread up five times. The brand is Demore Couture. Did I buy this at the bins? I think I actually bought this at the bins. It's brand new with tags. $555 marked down to $250. This is like the sixth time this has gone to thread up and it doesn't sell. They take it every single time I send it and it just doesn't sell. It gets favorites but it doesn't sell. I, this is one of the few things I'll drop the price. It doesn't sell. So I don't know. I think maybe I should just keep sending it. I've tried to sell this myself. It's a size six. It's really pretty. I think it was part of a suit. Um, sold at Nordstrom, the brand. And I think it's meant to be like something you wear to a wedding, but I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Should I try to sell it myself again? Should I send it back to them? Now that would be one of the items I wouldn't mind paying the $5.99 for to have it sent back to me. I wouldn't mind, cause it's just retails for so much. But I mean, if you can't resell it, who cares what it retails for? I always say that. Something can retail for a lot, but if you can't resell it for 10 bucks, it's not worth 10 bucks to resell, is it? Ann Klein, um, I like sending Ann Klein to thread up, especially when I find it for a dollar. This jacket, I think, was priced at 50 or 60 bucks. Had a lot of favorites. Again, doesn't sell super fast sometimes, but I think that's just a lot. You'll notice a lot of this stuff is workwear. People aren't going to work. They're working from home. So a lot of this workwear, I'm just going to try to sell myself. I'll probably do an auction on it on eBay and just try to move it and make some profit on it. I did a video I just filmed on how to get more eBay sales if your sales are slow. So if you want to check that out, one of the things I talk about is running auctions to move stale inventory and to get traffic to your store. So I will link that down below if it's up. This is a pair of Simon Miller jeans. They are size, Ooh, I can't see the size, I think 27. 
I just realized these have holes in the back. I'm surprised actually Thread Up took these. Um, they didn't sell within the 60 day window, but I don't know if you guys can see that. There's some holes in the back. I'm gonna try to sell that myself and I'll just notate the holes. They're really tiny. Some more workwear, because nobody's going to work. These are Banana Republic Martin Fit. This fit of pants, you guys, if you sell it yourself, always put the, the fit of the name in the title because people search it. They know the fit, they like the way it fits their body. So this is a size 2P, just black casual slack pants. I'm gonna sell these myself. I do pretty well, well, I used to do pretty well selling Banana Republic workwear. I don't get as much as I did on ThreadUp, but I'm just gonna start. The reclaims that I get, I'm just gonna try to sell myself and move quickly. White House Black Market. These are size six and they're bootleg cut and they have the detail on the back. They're really cute and in good condition. Um, this might be one of the items I send to thread up and just kind of see how it goes with no expedited, no return assurance. Cause I only paid a dollar for these and I would be okay. Like netting a profit of five bucks on those. So that might be one that I do for that. So that's it for this box of reclaims. I, ha I have about like 60 reclaims coming back to me right now that I'm going to just resell myself. So let me know if you guys find these helpful. I would think so because it shows you things that maybe don't sell so quickly and you can decide, you know, okay, like if I see an Ann Taylor dress and it's a dollar, if I send it into thread up, do I need it returned to me? Or can I just price it, leave the pricing at what they set it at and make a couple bucks profit? It's just, you're really gonna have, I feel like everybody's business strategy moving forward if you're gonna continue to sell on thread up. You really have to go into it with a game plan. It can't just be like willy nilly like it used to be because you could very easily lose money. Like the way I was doing it all of 2020, I cannot do that anymore. I cannot go and source like a hundred items at the bins and have a lot of those brands be brands I've never sold on thread up and just kind of see what happens. Because if I need to reclaim those, if I want them back, that could be very expensive if I'm raising the price to what I want to raise it to. So. Yeah, I'm just gonna test different things out. I told you guys, I'm not gonna quit, I don't think. I'm gonna send them two boxes in December because right now they allow you two expedited. And I think for one box, I'm just gonna leave it at the pricing that they recommend and see what happens. And I'm just gonna make sure all that stuff is like really, really affordable, like $2 or less for me, see what happens. And then another box, I will adjust the price to what I wanna adjust it to. And if they don't sell, that's when I need to decide if I wanna pay that $6 per item or do I just wanna let them have it. I kind of like the model that my friend is taking and what she's doing is she's just using it as liquidation. So she's sending them items that she doesn't care if she never gets it back. So if it doesn't sell, she doesn't care if ThreadUp keeps it, if they donate it, if they put it in a goodie box, she's just sending them basically things she would just give to like Goodwill to donate and whatever happens, happens. I kind of like using a mix of that strategy, but sending them things, not necessarily that I was gonna donate, but things that I'm getting for an affordable price, and and then maybe I don't care if I get it back or not. You know what I mean? As long as I get some sales and I'm still making profit. And then if I send them those higher end items that maybe I do like retail arbitrage or a lot of items that I have that are liquidation, I probably wouldn't mind spending that $5.99 because I don't send them that many items that are in that category like that. So let me know if you find these helpful. I'll keep doing them. I don't know about doing any more thread up update videos though, like just general updates because <laughs> it's just frustrating you guys that they change things every five minutes. It's just like, you just gotta roll with it if you're gonna keep selling there. I feel like you either decide to not sell there at all or you just roll with whatever punches they give us and you just go with the flow. So, all right, hopefully you enjoyed. You can check out my other thread up videos right here.